This is going to be a really exciting addition because Wayne LaFar, my buddy's coming in. He's been going to come into Nashville for a couple of weeks, but he's having trouble with his big bus. Just got here in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. Just in case there's another Nashville tucked around. We're going to start an expedition of culinary cuisine. Yeah, me and the brush man are going to try some of the finest Nashville has to offer. One of the things Wayne and I like to do, we like to shoot pictures and video, play guitar and that sort of thing, but what we really like is to go try uh, local eating places that are just basically regional junk foods. Tom Bresh knows the finest eating establishments. Now I'm going to take him over to the chicken, hot chicken place and see if I can get him to go up to uh, Cincinnati or something because he's never had a three-way. Got to get some barbecue and some uh, catfish. I want to get him over to the catfish joint. And no telling where else. So anyway, stay with us because we promise that this will be entertaining. We also promise it will make you hungry. We're not responsible. You'll have to sign off for it before you come and watch this. It's scary. So what are you going to have today? I think I'm going to have the all-star breakfast over medium. Oh, hash brown. Oh, I want to get the upgrade. The upgrade? You want to get double hash browns? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Double hash browns. You want your I have to. I'm here for. I drove 2,000 miles to come to a waffle house because you have American waffles. You can't get them. Seriously, every place else you go, I'm from California. Go in, ask for a waffle. All Belgian waffles. Everyone. I don't want a Belgian waffle. I want an American waffle. And nobody even knows what that is out there. All right, you want bacon, ham, or sausage? Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon. All right, and what's your drink? Bacon, bacon. Coffee, coffee. Coffee. All right, I'll get that for you. And some water. He may want something too. He doesn't exist. I would like a waffle. All right. Some bacon. A cup of coffee. And a diet coke. Every time you come in here with that dang camera, I don't got makeup on every time. Well, you shouldn't come over here then. Well, you know what's been going. It's my section. I got choice. This is Girls Gone Wild Waffle House Edition. <laughs> Way hot. Uh, let's see how this is. Got a sample. It. It's not right, you can always send it back. This may work. I may send it back though when I get done with a couple of others. Oh, all right. Who gets it? Who gets the over medium? I do. And I guess you're going to want some syrup too, aren't you? I want so much jam syrup to cover this. Wow. They undulate when you touch them. They do what? They undulate. That's when you know they're good. You press them in, and it's a light little touch. Look at that, it's almost like it's breathing. It's good. That's how you test steaks. A lot of people don't know that. Some people just grab them. You want to make sure they undulate. All right. Here at the Waffle House this morning, it's time for the word of the day. What will it be? Well, they're tested here. The Waffle House cares about you. They make sure those eggs undulate. <laughs> I'm over here at uh, Paul McGill's studio where he uh, builds all of his guitars and the pickup systems and all that. We got Wayne LaFar has had a system put in his Martin and uh, According to Paul, it works. Sounds like it does, too.
way bright, but. This guitar is such a large instrument that I'm not real happy with how the low end is sounding, so I'm going to change the input impedance and get rid of some of the muddiness in the low end, which requires replacing six resistors on the, on the, on the PCB board. I think it's perfect now. I'll tell you, coming in, get coleslaw. Lots of coleslaw is so sweet. This is perfect. Tangy, not sweet. These beans, made with pork, incredible. These hush puppies, onions in them. Break them open. They're amazing. Well, the oysters look like they look good, don't they? Oh, I you should you. try them. Hey, how you doing? I'm Don and Uncle Buzz. Are, are you managing this place? place? I want to say hi to you. These guys here know how to eat. They know how to eat. You're right. I kind of do, yeah. I'm kind of retired, but I go way, 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 way back. They trust me enough to come out and talk to people. Well, and you do a damn good job. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And man. you know what I like about you? What's that? As a manager? You make sure we find the waitresses with a good butt. That's right. You know, uh, all that's you got, a skill. All you, you got to do is ask for them. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, he's recording this. I better be real careful what I say. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, Don? He said, we have the best waitress to pick. So I can't wait to enjoy this. Catfish is really succulent and juicy, sweet. Oysters are great. Man. I wish you guys could taste what we're eating. Mm. Some good fish. I'm telling you, I'm so stuffed. I still have catfish left. Two, two pieces, I only ordered two and I still have two left and I ate one. I'm out of oysters. I can't pull anything, but I am concerned about what kind of cobbler they have. I was taking Wayne around, you know, I got to take my buddy Lafar around, and turn him on to the delicacies of food in the South. That's what I like about the South. Mason jar, full of iced tea. Wonder what the poor folks are doing. <laughs> Thank you.
got two of those. BD TV.